That's no moon. It's a Van de Graaff generator. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm Ross. And I'm Beth. And we're pretty psyched for the future release of Star Wars Episode 7 here in At Bristol. So today, we thought we'd show you how to use science to make a lightsaber. For this, we're using something called a Van de Graaff generator. Now, this works by generating electrostatic charge. Now, when we talk about electric charge, we're referring to the concentration of electrons. So if something has lots of electrons, we say that it's negatively charged, where if it has a lack of electrons, then it's positively charged. When you rub a balloon against a surface, those two surfaces are constantly coming into contact and separating again. And when they do this, electrons are transferred in something called the triboelectric effect. In this instance, electrons from Ross's hair are being transferred onto the balloon, making it negatively charged. Now, Beth's hair is neutral, meaning it hasn't got any charge at all. But compared to the negatively charged balloon, this means that it's relatively positively charged. So since different charges are attracted to one another, if I hold the balloon up to Beth's hair, we can see that Beth's hair is now attracted to the balloon. So what's this got to do with the Van de Graaff generator? Well, the basic principles are the same. There's a rubber belt which moves against some brushes, which transfer electrons from the belts to the brushes themselves, leaving the belt positively charged. The positively charged belt then takes electrons from the dome, leaving the dome positively charged. And when I place my hands onto the dome, it takes electrons from me and my hair, leaving me and my hair positively charged. And when me and my hair become positively charged, like charges repel and I end up looking like this. Once an object with a relatively negative charge is brought into close proximity to the dome, electrons are transferred between them, which we see as a spark of electricity. So that's how a Van de Graaff generator works, but how can we use this to make a lightsaber? Well, for this, we're going to need some fluorescent tubes. Now, one of these fluorescent light bulbs works as an electric charge is passed through the tube. Electrons collide with the particles of gas inside the tube, causing them to emit UV light. This UV light is then absorbed by the interior coating of the tube, which then begins to glow or fluoresce. But you don't even need to plug one of these in to get it to glow. All you need is a difference in electric charge from one region to another. And that's where our Van de Graaff generator comes in. OK, let's get ready. Let's fire it up. Yep, there. off we go. Da, da. Ow. Da, da, da. So our lightsabers aren't quite at a Jedi Master standard yet, but they still deal out a bit of a shock. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, check out some of our videos about things glowing in the dark. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bum, 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 bum. Now, funnily enough, this is how I do my hair in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>